series of YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're looking at BWA label region props, is member, erode.h, etc. And we're going to count missing objects in this case, please. So just say one thing. I took this example from the MATWORK site here, and there's the web reference there. So just to get that out of the way. Uh, if you're looking for what is a road delete, etc., and structure element, I have a YouTube tutorial there. And if you're wondering about region props, BW label, and his member, it's there's one as well. Okay, so just to say that. So we can get rid of that. I published it. So I read in the first image. There's the second image, and to the naked eye, just in case I'm going to quickly, there's the second image. In passing, these two images have to be the same size. They have to have the same number of rows and columns, otherwise we're in trouble. And there's a little subplot, and so, then, so that plane is missing there, and that plane, and that plane is missing there. So the, Two small ones and the big lad have gone. Now, why did the two images have to be the same size? Because we're saying we're getting the difference of planes one minus two, planes two. And if you remember your matrices, to subtract two matrices, the matrices have to be the same size. So if they're not, it just won't work. So when we subtract them, you can just about see the big plane there is a not the faint-ish and then we've got the two small guys and then we got noise all over the place so just taking a slight pause you know we want to be able to get rid of the noise uh that's the main thing and we also want to sort of boost this guy so how do we do that we convert to grayscale why do we do that because we need to convert to color so they look grayscale but they're actually color when we read them in and there we threshold it of 20 so we took a fairly low threshold so anything that has a grayscale value of uh 21 or more that's 21 to 255 is going to become white and uh, 0 to 19 i think uh, is going to become black so so yeah sorry i yeah not to 20 is going to become black and 21 and over is going to become white so you can sort of see it there we want to get rid of these bits here and we also sort of want to make that plane whole again which is another problem so we're going to get rid of small areas of speckled white and that's the command bw area open and if you look up my youtube tutorial on a, a road dilate etc an opening is an erosion followed by a dilation so and we've selected the size manually by 10 now there's a bit of cheating going on here how do you know it's 10 well you just got to play around with it there's no into there's no way you can intuitively guess but there's no scientific way you just have to play around so with a bit of playing around 10 is the optimal number and we've got rid of that so you can sort of we got rid of all the small white bits but you can see there's sort of holes in the plane so we want to sort of fix that so we're going to dilate uh, with a structuring element of square three. Why is it three? Why is it two? Why is it four? Again, a bit of playing around. So we went with three, and we went in three, dilate. We filled in the holes. You know, it also made the planes a little bigger, but you know, we've got to do something. Now, we're going to BW label that guy so there's three white objects um, and there we are there's three white objects and we're also going to get the region props of L which we got from here so the region props are going to get the centroid the bounding box the Euler number the major axis length the minor axis length etc 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 so the only one where this is now S is a struct and we want to create that into an array. So we're saying C, an array, is going to consist of the centroids 
for the three objects. Okay. So now we're going to show um, the original image. We're going to use a little for loop and we're going to use the rectangle command, but we're going to say a curvature of 1, 1 and a line width of 2. So that's it's no longer a rectangle, it's a circle. So we're going to draw circles around the center of gravity of the detected objects. So there we are. And the edge color is 1, 1 there. So one for red and one for green. So full on red, full on green. And when you mix red and green together, you get yellow. So they're highlighted there. And we're going to do the same for planes two. It's the exact same, except I am show planes two. And we're going to use the centroids, curvature, etc., 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 with the edge color of yellow, red, and green mixed together. And we've highlighted it there. Okay, so hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.